When it comes to pets, we tend to lean towards buying the more obvious ones like cats, dogs, birds, fish, and maybe the occasional hamster or rat. But there are so many more options available that if you can just go out and get the required license, you could be the proud owner of some really cute exotic pets. Number 25, Bearded Dragon Lizard. Perhaps not everyone's cup of tea, but the Bearded Dragon Lizard is a great choice of exotic pet as they are very low maintenance and in our opinion, pretty cute. These reptiles are great to keep as pets as they are exceptionally gentle and just love attention. Generally kept in glass aquariums, although many owners let them roam freely, sleeping in their bed at night as you would expect maybe a cat or dog to do. Number 24, Capybara. This is one of the largest rodents in the world and they can weigh as much as 140 pounds. These semi-aquatic animals can be a rather challenging pet, but those that have them believe they're totally worth the effort. They do need access to water though, so ensure there is some around for them to swim in. They're very sociable animals and if you live in Texas or Pennsylvania, you can own one without any paperwork, whereas other states require you to have a special license. Number 23, chimpanzee. It's hard to imagine why people would want to adopt an animal that can literally bite your face off, but they do, and there are many who pay a small fortune for a pet chimpanzee, and admittedly, they can be pretty cute. These animals do not make great pets. They get bored easily and tend to fly into a rage pretty quickly. They are able to do some pretty cool things though, like learn sign language, change the television channels, and interact with the family, but there would always be a shadow of a doubt hanging over me if any of these were in my home. Number 22, Sugar Glider. If you want cuteness, then you've got the whole package right here. Sugar gliders are the most adorable marsupials that you'll ever come across, and they thrive best when in the company of other sugar gliders. So if you are considering one of these, you'll definitely need to consider another. They can be very affectionate, but they do require a lot of special care and attention. To buy one baby sugar glider will cost in the region of between $200 and $500, whereas buying an older one will cost considerably less. Number 21, Chinchilla. Just when you thought things couldn't get cuter, we introduce you to the Chinchilla. These sweet little critters are native to the Andes Mountains in South America. They have gorgeous soft fur, have a quizzy, lively nature, and are rather low maintenance pets. The only drawback is they're quite fragile. So to have them with small children around is not a good idea as they can bite if squeezed too tightly. Number 20, Hedgehogs. You wouldn't imagine a hedgehog making a great pet, but they do. These low maintenance critters do come standard with spines, but they only ever stiffen them if they feel threatened. So as a rule, you have nothing to worry about as long as you treat them right. You look after them in a very similar way you might a hamster. They're generally shy creatures, but with a lot of interaction with humans, they can bond beautifully with their owner. Number 19, a serval. This exotic cat comes from Africa, and it's certainly not the same as just owning an ordinary cat. They're still considered as wild cats, even though in certain parts of the world, you can own one as a pet. Even though you might be able to train yours to be very affectionate, they still have their survival instincts deeply rooted in them. If you live in Nevada, Idaho, Wisconsin, Alabama, South Carolina, North Carolina, or West Virginia, you can own a serval without a license. Other states require you get the proper paperwork first. Number 18, wallabies. These appealing creatures are like tiny kangaroos and unlike their bigger counterparts, actually make rather good pets. As long as you can provide yours with a lot of space to run around in and cater for very specific dietary requirements, which includes loads of fresh grass. They're rather docile animals, but do have some peculiar habits like drooling on themselves to keep cool and throwing up their meal and then eating it again. But if you can handle that, then you're definitely ready for parenting too. Number 17, Fennec Fox. These beautiful animals are kind of like a cross between a dog and a cat. And when you take the time to socialize them properly, they can actually make amazing pets. They have boundless energy though, so so should you. Their diet is nothing like a dog or a cat though, and they eat insects, rodents, plants, fruit, and reptiles. Do note these critters love to dig, so be sure to keep them properly occupied all day to prevent your garden from being absolutely ruined. Number 16, hyacinth macaws. These costly exotic pets are highly endangered and they're said to be between 2,500 and 5,000 left in the wild. They grow to roughly 40 inches and have a wingspan of 60 inches. You need to train these birds from young because they could potentially take a finger off with their mighty strong beaks. They're allowed in most states as long as you get yours legally and it's not imported or stolen, obviously. Number 15, Madagascar hissing cockroach. 
Again, your definition of cute and my definition of cute could be totally different, and the Madagascar hissing cockroach could be right up your alley in terms of cuteness. These roaches reach sizes of two to three inches and usually live in rotting logs in, you guessed it, Madagascar. They're pretty harmless and are known to make a weird hissing sound by forcing air through holes in their stomachs. They're able to climb really well, even scaling smooth vertical glass. Number 14, pygmy goats. These enchanting creatures are too adorable for words. They're pint-sized goats, and as tempting as it is to get one, they generally do like the company of others. So try and get a few, and of course, have lots and lots of land to keep them on. These animals love to jump and climb, and bear in mind, their size makes them vulnerable to predators. So ensure they're very safe. Number 13, striped skunk. It's hard to imagine anyone owning a skunk as a pet, but apparently it's legal in 17 US states. Although those that are kept as pets usually have the scent glands removed, and once they're gone, skunks made rather docile, loving pets. There's controversy surrounding the removal of the glands though, as that is essentially removing the animal's natural defense, which isn't fair. Number 12, bush baby. Even though it is technically possible to keep a bush baby as a pet, it's really advised against. Sure, they're low maintenance overall, but they do require lots of space and branches, and if you can't give them that, it's best to leave them in the wild or visit them at the zoo. Number 11, stick insect. These bizarre insects always left kids in amazement when they were spotted out in the garden or on the playground. But now, more and more people are actually keeping them as pets. They're usually between three and four inches in size and can live for a long time if the conditions are right. They need rather tall cages, eat bramble, ivy, or lettuce, and they like company of their own kind. Enclosures should be kept at room temperature and need to be cleaned out weekly. These insects molt often and are said to be excellent pets for children. The only drawback is that children have to handle them with care, as their limbs can break very easily. Number 10, Spotted Janae. They look a lot like cats or ferrets, but are actually neither, although they are related to both of them. Rather skittish animals, Spotted Janae's are known to try and scale right over their owner's body like it was climbing a tree, which can be rather disconcerting for both parties. It's said that many of these beauties are given up when they don't display cat-like behavior, as was expected. Number 9, Mini Donkey. These ultra adorable animals make incredible pets. The males are called Jacks and the females Janets, and they're highly intelligent animals. They're said to form a very tight bond with their owner when given the proper care, love, and attention. Number eight, Southern Tamandua. This crazy looking exotic animal will serve you well if you have an ant problem at home. They're basically ant eaters and will rid your garden of any ant or termite problems you might have. As can be expected, they have very long tongues, so if you don't like being licked by a dog, then perhaps this one is not the animal for you. They love attention and can experience really intense mood swings. Number seven, Kinkajou. This is definitely not an exotic pet that you come across very often, but in some places you can own one. They're usually found in the South American rainforest and are closely related to raccoons. Generally docile animals, they can however be a little cantankerous during the day. When the sun sets, they tend to calm down a little bit. They also like to scream at times and even attack at the drop of a hat. Just to add to the list, they can carry a type of ringworm that is potentially fatal to humans. Number six, dwarf pigs. It's easy to see why people fall in love with these unusual animals. They are too precious for words. They're often called teacup pigs and they make amazing pets. For starters, they're hypoallergenic, so allergy sufferers will do well with one of these little guys. They're highly sociable and those who have owned pigs tell you how many emotions your pig will have. They're also highly destructive, like to chew everything or super messy and despite all of that, have so much love to give you. It's totally worth it. Number five, Binturong. This intriguing animal is a mammal of the civet family and is also called a bear cat. They have faces like a cat, tails like a monkey, and bodies like a bear. And not only that, but they apparently also smell like popcorn. They are robust creatures and weigh anything between 25 and 50 pounds. Sadly, their population has decreased enormously. And although you can keep them as a pet in some places, it's best to rather leave them in their natural habitat. Number four, llama. You can't get more exotic than a llama, a South American camelid that is gentle, fun, and makes an incredible pet, as long as you have enough space for the beauty to run around and be sheltered when there's extreme weather. They are super friendly and can be good with kids too, as long as they're gentle back. Number three, pygmy hippos. Again, you're probably thinking who would even consider owning one of these, but there are people who have them and they're very cute to look at, but a huge handful and not forgetting very dangerous. Former US President Calvin Coolidge was once given a pygmy hippo as a pet. Number two, squirrel monkey. 
These tiny monkeys are quite a popular choice when it comes to exotic pets as they are so small. They can handle a small environment. They weigh roughly two pounds and are pretty easy to house train. They have unlimited resources of energy though, so make sure that you do too. They're very affectionate, clever, and will soon become your best furry friend. Number one, Provost Squirrel. This beautiful squirrel is actually considered to be a rather good pet. Most people see these guys as pests. However, when bred in captivity, these little guys are apparently very affectionate, loving, and do enjoy the company of humans. They do require loads of space though, and also don't enjoy being left alone for long periods of time. If you could own one of these cute exotic pets, which would it be and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more daily content. Thanks for watching. Oh.